Hello YouTube, Long the Road Back with Home. We are in the woods. We've seen a number of dead bodies and some buried corpses. I am scared. But, nonetheless, nonetheless, let us continue through these woods with my head at least semi held high and I'll try not to cry. So last time, I still have this weird glitch of the double body. Were they facing different directions? Oh, I want to get them back to back. Anyways, I think I named him Sam or Paul. Anyways, let's see what this sign says. I couldn't stop thinking about those poor girls. I couldn't figure out on the map either where their campsite was. The police would have to search again in the daylight. Because, <laughs> you know, the police are so going to come. I had finally found the exit. Once I left, I knew I never wanted to return there. That sound. Through the dense trees, I could finally start to see some light. I must have been at the edge of the forest. Though I wasn't sure where the path ahead of me led. I could almost feel the cryptic notebook in my pocket as I tried to think about what it could mean and where and where were the campers who had abandoned their sight would I meet would I meet them too though the path ahead of me was less dense I still felt guarded and weary who knew what was ahead a sewage pipe I'm going to try to talk less, and hopefully you'll enjoy it more. If you were watching this, you should probably know that when I'm scared, I talk a lot. As I stepped through the gate, I, I suddenly recognized the auto parts factory where I had worked as a mechanist for all those years. The plant had closed almost three years ago. Now, times were better then. I thought I could hear a faint rustling behind me. Maybe it was just the wind. Can I go through again? Nope. Nothing there. Just Paul. Or Sam. Maybe his name is Sam Paul. Oh. Let's not try that yet. Building. Oh! Speaking of dead bodies. I found the body of a security guard. Just doing his job, no doubt. His face was covered with blood from some kind of head wound. I wonder, was this flashlight his? I saw the blunt wound on the guard's head and looked again at the flashlight I was carrying. Oh, oh no, please. Oh, we went that way. Into the building. Oh my gosh, those footsteps. There was a large power box with five lights on it. Cables burst out of the box, snacking off the other parts of the factory. The metal was starting to wear, and cowbells, cow, cobwebs, <laughs> cowbells, had collected on the corners. The box wasn't receiving power. The door was locked shut, and there was a little electronic box under the handle. A sign was pasted on the front and said, Danger. Closed for repairs. Every part of this plant smelled old and rotted. 
I noticed the old bulletin board on the wall. The board container containered oh my gosh. Contained yellow clippings of newspaper cartoons and notices. There were notes and from the guys that worked here. One of them was a was to Norman, who was one of the older guys in the line. What did it say? Hello? Norman took over a general store after the factory closed. He, Raquel, and I would have lunch every now and again. Raquel liked him because he seemed, he seemed more positive despite the setback. I don't think I could say the same about me. Okay, okay, Eminem. Our old brick table. The layer of dust and grind only made seeing this thing more. Another door. The open locker was stuffed with dirty work clothes and old boots. There was a photo of a woman taped to the inside, but it was scratched out and the face was unrecognizable. That's not creepy at all. Hmm, a power panel. Looked like it was shut off. Did I push the switch? Take that as a yes. Same thing. The panel seemed to be working again. What about this one? The power panel still wasn't working. Did I try again? Oh, that's lovely. The door had been hastily boarded up. You know, like something's in there and they don't want it to get out. The door in this locker was dented, like someone has pu had punched it. There was a horrible smell of a long abandoned lunchbox. Nothing else? Oh, door. A utility shelf crammed with mismatched tools and items. There was a claw hammer on the shelf. Did I take the hammer? Of course. I noticed it wasn't as dirty as the rest of the tools on the shelf. That's wonderful. Another panel that I hoped could get the power back on. Did I push the switch? Great, this one was working. Okay. The locker was a complete mess. Hidden at the bottom, though, was a magnet card. Magnetic card. Did I take the card? Of course. I slipped it into my pocket with the gun. Another panel that I hoped could get the power back on. Nope. Didn't work. I bet the best. Still wasn't working. Yes. Ah! Huh. Another panel that I hoped could get the power back on. Yes, you did. Didn't work. How about now? Yep. Okay. I bet there's going to be a jump scare soon. Was there another set of stairs? No. The power box looked like it was running again. Okay, now what? The door opened now that the power was back on. Oh, lovely. Another sponge of dirt, similar to the one I found in those sewers, was on the floor. What the heck was that? A 
large pile of building materials and debris blocked the way. More? Planks, tools, and broken up parts blocked the way, blocked any further passage. A rusted old regulator of some kind of s sat, of some kind sat dusty and unused against the wall. Okay. Huh. The door open. Okay. Then go through it. the body was gone. What is this? An old watch. First my wallet and now this. Did I retrieve, retrieve my watch? The watch was useless, but I put it on my wrist anyways. Okay. This is not odd at all. stairs. One of them was to Norman. Okay. We already looked at that. Looks like some beer bottles had been used on the table recently. I wondered, was the guard using this as a break room of his own? What was that guard doing here? I struck with the hammer the old wooden board came apart easily. After I had removed the planks, I left the hammer on the floor. Why? We could use that hammer. There was a mess of empty booze bottles. I wondered if, the, eh, I wondered if that man in the house had something to do with this. He sure had a lot of alcohol at his place. This was my locker there in the factory. It stank of booze. There was a picture of Raquel inside. It it looked like it had been torn up. I thought I, I had taken that home. Eh, I thought I had taken that picture home when the factory closed. Is to sit. And nothing but but memories. Okay. Now what? Does anyone see anything? the lock. 
lockers and open it contains more tasks right like someone had been looking through for something. Old work clothes have been picked through and a few photos and notes have been ripped off the door and spread around. There's a door here. What was I here before? I was not here before. Okay. A rack of flashlights hung on the wall. One of them was missing. Huh. I wonder which one. Anyways, we'll continue this next time. As always, con eh, as always, comment, rate. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.